Digging the solution with some breaking news coming in after abusing doctors and healthcare staff. There is shocking defiance by the Tablighis, which is caught on camera. Three corona positive patients were roaming around freely inside a hospital, interacting with those who were supposed to be in quarantine. तारीख बोलो जाज क्या तारीख है? आज ये चार तारीख है। ए चार तारीख जाज। आज चार चार 2020 हाँ। हम लोग करने वाले सब छोड़ बाहर। ये पूरे हमारे ये जिनका नेगेटिव है उनका है और जिनका अभी ये पाजुटिव बता रहे हैं ये ये हमारे ये साथी हैं और ये जो बाजु हमारे साथी हैं ये जो टावल लगाए इनका भी नेगेटिव है � और इनके साथ एक चाचा भी है। That is how they are mocking the system in India. They are the reason for 30% of the spike of corona cases in the country. They first refused to get themselves tested. They defied a lockdown. They were gathered inside the markaz in Nizamuddin. They have now spread the coronavirus across 17 states, Karnataka being one of them. Now, this shocking CCTV footage that has been accessed by Times now comes from a hospital in Belagavi. Deepak now joins us live for more on this. Deepak, we've seen the Tablik Jamaat members across the country flouting norms. They're abusing the doctors, the medical staff. They don't want to get tested. Another shocking such instance coming in from Karnataka. Yes, uh, now this uh, uh, video is allegedly shot uh, on the 4th of April. The person who's shooting this video himself says it's on 4 four twenty. He's now in a ward where there are uh, several people. And if you could just count the number of beds, like, there are easily about 30 to 40 or more people in that particular uh, ward alone. And he's saying that all of those people are the ones who are quarantined. He says they're all negative. And right, you know, beyond, it's less than probably a meter even. At the window, he says there are two people who are standing who've been tested positive for COVID-19 and he's along with another person who's not even wearing a mask. None of them are wearing any protective gear. These people here are discussing about how they're not uh, being given any sort of treatment in the hospital and are, uh, you know, roaming around free. Firstly, uh, why are they roaming around free? Because they know that it's a, you know, it's a virus uh, that's causing a lot of harm, a lot of problems to, uh, you know, different, uh, uh, you know, countries, not just in India. And so they, they, there should be some amount of seriousness in them. Secondly, the Officials need to be pulled up. Why allow patients, if they are actually uh, tested positive, to roam around freely? And then you have another person inside this quarantine ward who says that "Hame corona hai, hame bahar chodo." So you know, it's, uh, at this point in time, these videos have uh, you know uh, gone viral. The police have taken cognizance. I spoke to the commissioner of Belgavi just a while ago, who said that he's taken so much of cognizance of this matter because the police cannot gain access into these quarantine zones. Uh, they are now taking the help of uh, you know the doctors inside uh, to assess who are these people who are shooting these videos, who are these people who are actually uh, tested positive, whether they had access into the other areas of the hospital, but. Uh, whatever uh, said and done, this is quite unfortunate because right. if there are only three people who are tested positive, containing them will be absolute priority. Them mingling around with hundreds of others there is just going to make the situation worse. Absolutely, it is going to make an existing situation really worse because at this time, several state governments across the country are battling, trying to contain the spread of COVID-19. These Jamatis are just adding to that existing crisis. How is the Karnataka government dealing with that, Deepak? Well, the Home Minister did mention, uh, you know, very clearly that this is going to be taken very seriously. Even in the beginning, while, you know, but there was a lookout for all the people who came in from uh, the Markas to Karnataka, uh, there was an appeal that they voluntarily come in. But, you know, there was a lot of uh, resistance that internally uh, the several uh, departments uh, faced, including the police district officials as well. And now, you know, while they're trying to contain it, identify from uh, questioning uh, one person to another, the officials tell us that there has been a lot of resistance there as well in divulging the details because at this time, you know, a taboo, it's right. just about 
ensuring that you do not spread the virus to another person. So, be it anybody, uh, they have to go, uh, you know, uh, ensure that they uh, inform the officials about uh, their travel history. If right. they've gone to a convention, they can put out a notification that you have to, in fact, uh, go and quarantine yourself or inform the right. Those officials. protocols have to be followed. The government is doing all they can, not just the Karnataka government, but across the country. But it is also uh, the responsibility of those patients, of those people of this country to ensure that they do not endanger any more lives. Deepak, thank you for joining us with those details.